What's good guys, welcome back to another sound design tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Alan Walker style leads with FL Studio stock plugins only. This was requested in my last video in the comments section. So if you guys have any ideas for future videos that sound design tutorials you want to see, just drop it in the comments and I'll do it. So I recreated the lead from Alan Walker's song Spectre and it sounds like this. And I'll also play the original track if you guys want to compare. All right, so let's get straight into it. First, we want to load up a new instance of 3X Oscillator. That's what I use to make this sound. So before I start turning knobs, I want to explain to you guys my thought process before I started making this sound. I hear a main voice, which is mono, and then I hear an octave higher layer, which is a little bit detuned. It's a little tricky to do that in 3X Oscillator because all three oscillators only have one voice. So if we want to create any sort of stereo detune, we need to use two of the oscillators and detune tune one of them sharp and one of them flat and that's what we're gonna do so first we want to make sure that all three of these oscillators are at the same volume so we're gonna have to bring this up a little bit now I want the top oscillator and the bottom oscillator this is what I'm gonna be using for those detune saws so we want to make sure these are saw waves so I have them selected and the middle oscillator is gonna be a square wave so let's select that I want the top oscillator with the saw and the bottom oscillator with the saw to be at the same octave and I want that to be one octave higher than the square so we're just going to bring this up to 24 so that these two match at 24 and this is at 12 which is an octave lower for the square now I want these saws to be a little bit detuned this detune knob in 3x oscillator works a little bit weird if you drag it up it'll make that voice sharper if you drag it down it'll make it flatter so we're gonna make this one a little bit sharp and just bring it up a little bit, not too much. And this one flat and bring it down a tiny bit. So now our sound is gonna be something like this. So as you can hear, we have the main sound down, but not all the dynamics and the modifiers sound accurate. So what we need to do is mess first with the envelope. We're just gonna check off envelope right here. There's no attack. We're not gonna have any hold. We're gonna have a little bit of sustain, a little bit of decay, a little bit, you know, we'll leave the release as is. We'll bring the tension for that a little bit up though. And I wanna bring the tension for the decay a little bit down. Okay, so now it should sound like this. It's a little bit more plucky now, which is good. I'm just gonna bring this sustain a little bit further down. So now we wanna mess with the voicing. It's kind of like a mono legato kind of sound. So we're gonna select mono so that only one instance of the sound can play at a time and that there is no harmonization going on or no crossfade between notes going on either. We don't want that. We're also gonna check off Porta because this is it's gonna slide. It's portamento. So we can mess with the slide knob to see how much we want it to, to pitch bend as it changes notes. That sounds pretty good. I'm gonna leave it about right there. Also, to make sure that the note transients aren't interfering with each other, we wanna right click on the 3X oscillator and check off cut itself. And we also wanna make sure that the polyphony is at maximum of one. This means that only one note can play at a time. So lastly, we want to mess with the filter envelope. It's a little bit weird in 3X Oscillator. We're gonna, since everything starts at the bottom right here, we're just gonna invert it by bringing the amplitude all the way down. We're gonna have no hold, no delay, a little bit of attack, and the decay all the way down, sustain all the way up. And we're also just gonna turn the release all the way up. If you wanna get specific with the filters, you can also mess with these tension knobs too. As you can see, they kinda of just bend the curve a little bit instead of have the linear. And I wanna increase the attack a little bit too. I like this sound. Now just to polish it a little bit, I'm gonna route it to a mixer channel and I'm just gonna add a little bit of sidechain. Since we're doing FL stock plugins only, I guess I'll use gross beat for this. Just suck the sidechain. And then I'm also just gonna add a little bit of reverb. And this is our final sound. I 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and found it useful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I upload every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.